Hey yo there, it is I, Kyle from Strive Fitness and Performance. We're here in Monroe, Ohio. And today I'm answering the question of, is muscle confusion really a thing? Is it something that I should consider in my workouts when I go about them? And the short and dirty answer to that is absolutely not. Your muscles are dumb, okay? They don't have a brain. They, they just have a role of contracting and relaxing, right? So they don't think. You don't need to think about muscle confusion as it's normally portrayed. Now, that's not to say that you can go ad nauseum at the same exercises over and over and over again for until the end of time. You could certainly do that if that fits you um, and still get results. But you don't have to... Um, you don't have to constantly switch things up to keep things progressing. There's reasons why, there's three main reasons why um, you might not progress, okay? And you might see the need to switch up your exercises. Number one, and probably the most important, is you're under recovery. You're not sleeping enough, you're not eating enough, whatever the case may be, you're not taking enough protein, you're not doing those things, and so your exercise results are stagnating, not because you need to confuse your muscle or whatever, but because you're under recovered and you're not able to continue to develop. When you, it's a process, when you work out, you, your body's at say this level. When you work out, it dips because your performance drops off as you work. But then the recovery phase takes you up better than you were before. And if you weren't working that recovery phase, if you weren't getting plenty of sleep or plenty of uh, food, instead of being here, it's either it might continue to stay at this level if you're under recovered, but or a lot of times it'll actually dip off because you're not fully recovering from your workout. So that is the first thing to consider before thinking about muscle confusion uh, in your workouts. Number two, you need to think about your own mindset. It just depends on the personality type you are in some cases. For some people, they like to vary it up daily and weekly with their exercises and that's perfectly fine uh, as long as the exercise selection is appropriate for the goals, okay? You don't have to constantly change things up, but if that fits your personality type where you like to switch things up weekly absolutely do that because if you don't you might feel stale if you don't switch it up every one two three weeks for other people they might like to stick with something for a while and not get bored they might like stick with an exercise for four six eight weeks and not get bored with it and able to continue forward with it and obviously mental motivation is a large part of your progress if you're unmotivated to do an exercise then you aren't likely to put forth the effort you need to put forth into it and then you are going to get the results you want out of it so in that case you vary up the exercises based on your your uh, your mental per perception of the uh the exercises themselves okay so that takes time to get a, to hang i mean you might know your personality as is um so you can get a good uh, good idea of when you need to switch up exercises but in a lot of cases it does take time to learn your body you need to write down your workout results keep a diary of sorts to kind of pay attention to these things about yourself. What do you like? What does, does your body like to switch up weekly? Or does your body like to stick with something over and over and over again for a while? Figure out what makes you tick and that's gonna help you stay on top of it and keep yourself motivated. So number one, we need to stay uh, recovered, make sure we're recovered. Number two, you need to figure out what makes you tick when it comes to your motivation, psychological motivation. And number three, the only other reason why you would need to switch up your exercises is to work on weak points, okay? So if you have a certain exercise you're trying to build up on, let's just say your squat, okay? And you do the same squat over and over and over and over and over again, and you're receiving results, but eventually it plateaus off, which it will. Now, is it plateaued off because your body needs confusion? Not necessarily. It could be because psychological, like we talked about. It could be because of... Um, you're under recovered, but also it could be because, be because a weak point is holding you back. So it's like a foundation, it's like a pyramid where uh, the foundation or the skyscraper, um, the foundation limits what your peak is. So if what you have ability, what you have to pull from is a small, um, is a small foundation, if you will, of movement, your peak is going to be much less higher. It's like a, a kid who burns out really um, quickly. They play one sport growing up and they burn out of that sport by the time they're by the time they're in high school or they're the best when they're young but then they get into high school and now they're average or below average because they spend all the time playing that one sport and didn't build a big foundation that's going to allow them to peak when the time is right so in this case there could be something that's holding you back so if you keep on just doing let's just take a squat for example if you keep on just squatting doing a regular back squat over and over and over again for time just for all in time there's going to be weak points that come up that are going to hold you back so you need to switch it up a little bit to continue to progress and see results so let's take a squat for example it might be that you're weak in the bottom so you might do pause squats you might come down to the 
down to the uh, bottom position of the squat, hold for a two, three count, and then explode up. Work at that. Develop the strength in that bottom position. It might be your quads are a little weak, your, the fronts of your legs. So that might mean you switch up to front squats or different variations that work on your quads a little bit more. And so then you improve those weak points. And thus, when you go back to that main exercise, in this case, the squat, your lifts will continue to improve. Not because you needed to confuse the muscle, but because there was a weak point holding you back from continually to progress. So that's the long answer. The short answer again was no, you don't need muscle confusion. Muscle is dumb. It just contracts and relax. So don't think you have to change just for the sake of changing to get results. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have questions, you know how to reach out. Send me a message 513-571-2950. Give me a call or simply uh, visit our website and you can fill out the form on there if you are interested in coming out and uh, trying out strive for a week for free to see if the workouts are what's right for you and see if I, I can help you work on your individual goals in a group setting at group rates you can try us out though for a week for free uh just again give me a call 513-571-2950 or send me a text in or uh, go through the website trainstrive.com and fill out the form and we will get started thank you very much and have a fantastic rest of your day Bye bye